I think I like Day of the Jack and Apes. This is the 13th episode of the 12th season of The Simpsons, directed by Michael uh, Marcentel. And the reason I said I think is because I really love one of the scenes towards the end, which I will discuss with a spoiler warning. But the events leading up to that, I thought were all right, but not brilliant. But because I really love the execution of this particular scene, it kind of helps raise my overall score a bit. For context, it's got 7.1 out of 10 on IMDb, which is not a particularly high score, but for this point in the season, or, or this point in The Simpsons, is pretty average. And Krusty has decided that he's going to enter his fifth retirement. This will be his last retirement, apparently. And Sideshow Bob gets wind of this and gets wind of something that Krusty did to his episodes. And Sideshow Bob... Well, Sideshow Bob ends up getting a job at Springfield Elementary. I won't say how or what the job involves, but it does mean that he has access to Bart. And he plans on using Bart to kill Krusty. And I won't say any more than that or what happens with it. I will in a moment with a spoiler warning. But part of me thought, I, I, I've mentioned this before, but for the most part, despite my great love of Kelsey Grammer, I'm not really a big fan of Sideshow Bob as a character. The last time we met him, I think it was the last time, the one with, with his brother, with David Hyde Pierce. Um, that episode, I actually really, really liked the character in it. I thought it was brilliant. Um, so I was favouring him a little bit more in this episode and I was keen to see what would happen with him. And actually, I quite enjoyed the character's performance here. Um, and in particular, his involvement with Bart, which I thought was... Uh, very well done, very well executed. The events leading up to this one scene that I like, I just felt were not that fascinating. They didn't really feel that engaging. They weren't unfunny as such, but they also weren't funny. I kind of could take them or leave them. So it's not a perfect episode, um, but besides Joe Bob, I actually really liked, which is not necessarily always the case. And I was quite fascinated to see what would happen with the rest of the episode. So. It's not my favourite, but it's certainly not terrible. So I guess a spoiler from now, I'm going to discuss the main plot point, the the event that everything was leading up to. And it's the fact that Sideshow Bob is able to hypnotise Bart to get him to kill Krusty when Krusty's uh, on, on, on stage performing, giving his final um, farewell message. And I genuinely didn't know what was going to happen with this or if he would you know, succeed in at least hurting Krusty, if Bart would end up doing it. Bearing in mind, Bart idolises Krusty, so that would be horrifically traumatising for Bart if that happened. And also, given the change in, in his personality from the previous time we met Sideshow side Bob, I don't know why that's difficult to say, um, the last time we had Sideshow Bob, I just, I honestly didn't know what to expect. And I thought it was very well done, very well delivered, really quite intense and an absolute joy to watch. So the rest of the episode may not have been that great, but because I really thoroughly enjoyed that scene and the kind of high intensity of it, it kind of just raised my overall experience. And that's something that I thought worked quite well. So it may not be my favourite episode. But it certainly had bits bits in it that I really thoroughly enjoyed. I think the rating of 7.1 out of 10 is probably fair. <laughs>